back to my channel. My name is Jamie and for today it's gonna be a Shopee haul because we all know how much I love to waste my money on Shopee. To all y'all Filipinos out there and other people in Asia who have bought from Shopee, you guys know how great Shopee is. As in, if you find the right item from like the right shop, then for sure you're gonna get a good item for the right price. So I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna like note that for some reason, this Shopee haul specifically, it's a lot of Korean fashion inspired. And I don't know why. You guys actually saw this in my last Shopee haul because it was what I was wearing in my last Shopee haul. I forgot to add it, so I said to myself, I'll just do it in the next one. It's this off the shoulder one. It's so cute because it's ribbed and it's also off the shoulder. That was it's ruched here. Ruched? That's how you say it. R rushed. Rushed? Ruched. It's actually very flattering. It looks like one of those vintage fashion tops. They would wear this and it'd just be like a nice long poofy skirt at the bottom to go to the ball with or something. Basically, it looks like the Taylor Swift love story music video. The one thing that I don't like about this is that it scrunches up by the end of the sleeve. So it ends like around here, but it like really tightens up around my arm. Guys, 149 pesos lang and you get this good of a top. I liked it so much that I got it also in a black. Because if you want to get two colors of one item, make sure one of them is a base basic color, either white or black. It could be off the shoulder, but you can also like put the sleeves up to make it like a square neckline. And for me, that's really flattering, especially if you want to expose your clavicle area. I don't have a cleavage because your girl's part of the itty bitty titty committee. So square necklines or off the shoulders like this are the silhouettes of tops that I like gravitate towards. Okay, this is from One Star. This is where the whole Korean style inspired fashion comes in. So for the first one, you guys actually saw it in my thrift flip video. Some people actually commented that how they like this top. It's this nice purple cardigan-ish, but it's like short sleeve and it looks, oh, it's so cute. This top right here is the reason why I am now obsessed with lavender. So for this top, it's nicely cropped right in the belly button line. So it's perfect for high-waisted jeans and the fabric is so soft so it doesn't feel too hot, especially in Philippine weather like this. But if you look at it, look at this fabric. Oh my god, look, oh my god, look at that. That is quality fabric right there and I'm so happy that I got this. The one thing I also like, another small detail, but then I'm so happy whenever the buttons match the color of the top because like that extra detail that just looks so cute which is why I love this so much I love it so much <laughs> it's making me sing and I don't even freaking sing it is stretchy also okay so for the next one I got from the same shop okay this is not my favorite purchase but then it's, I'm not totally against it it's a basic white tee and it's a kind of a v-neck the one thing I like about this is that it has long sleeves well not really long it's like it ends here and I'm not the biggest fan of short sleeves because I don't like it when my whole arm is like popping out like lechon or something like that So I make sure to get long sleeves to hide that part and I don't know it just looks sleeker for me It is kind of thin though Like I can see the camera when I look through it and it feels delicate that I could accidentally break it or like tear into it This small tear came when I got it from the seller But anyways, I paid for the quality because it was only 143 pesos It's a nice basic white tee to just pair on denim pants or I guess a nice cute skirt. Okay, next one that I got, this is the last one I got from this shop. I kind of explored with this color because I don't have this color of, actually I think I do, like one top. I am really amazed with the whole design and pattern of this top because can you see that guys? Look at the pattern. You know they did hard work when they went into this top. For this top, I only paid 210 pesos. I mean, it's over the 200 range but then it is worth it because the details in this top are the definition of chef's kiss. I'm not the biggest fan of how the sleeves ended this type of rough detail. I like how the brown buttons pop out with the color obviously <laughs> not like it just pops out at you. The next ones that I got these two are from the same store. It's this cute white crop top. The buttons don't work though it's just there for decoration guys. But then the one thing that sold me about this item is the red lining on the collar and on the sleeves. The one thing I'm not here for is the buttons. The buttons are like a neon pink. This item costs 190 pesos. The price is just right for that quality. I'm kind of a cheap person if you guys know this. I mean I don't really have a job yet. I'm still in college and not getting allowance because I'm just at home. So I need to make sure I get the cheapest piece of clothing for the best quality. The last one I got from this store is this one over here. Y'all, this crop sweater trend is kind of cute. I got this color. It's like a nice emerald green slash Christmas color for this piece of clothing. The one that got sold out first was the light blue and the mint green. I guess that's the more trendy type of color. But then for me, I wanted to go for something different and I don't really have this much color in my wardrobe. 
wardrobe yet, so I said I might as well just try it out. And it gives me Christmas vibes. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm a self-proclaimed Christmas hoe. And I guess this one just reminds me of it. And you know, it makes me so happy. And like what I said with the lavender cardigan blouse, I like how the buttons of this are actually the same color as the cardigan. So this one over here, it costs 245 pesos, a bit expensive well, for me. But then if I would compare it to the other stores that sell the same item, this is relatively cheap because the most expensive one that I saw for this certain item was 500 pesos. See guys, all you need to do is research. Put in the hard work just a little bit, but then don't work is gonna pay off when you get a good quality item for a cheaper price. This next item is this nice one shoulder long sleeve crop top. I actually got this in a navy blue in my other Shopee haul. I actually ordered a black one for that one, but then they accidentally sent me the wrong color and I was like, it's okay, the, na the navy blue actually looks kind of cute. But then now I said to myself, for this next haul, might as well actually get the color that I wanted. It's not that stretchy though, so it's kind of hard to fit in my chunk of an arm. So I have to make sure to really like squish it in there whenever I try to wear it. This only costs 75 pesos. This is the cheapest piece of clothing I bought for this haul. I see other stores selling this for 150 pesos, 250 pesos, but no, I researched and I got this for 75 pesos. The 8-8 sale is coming up, so I might as well invest in these great pieces. Okay, so this is the last piece of clothing that I got and this, oh my god, I can't contain my excitement for this one because it's just that good. It's literally my favorite piece that I bought on Shopee ever. That's like a big statement. You guys saw it in my last video and you're gonna see it in many, many more videos. It's the white tennis skirt, guys! Everyone on Instagram has been wearing. Everyone that you see on your Pinterest pages. When I first saw it on like Instagram, I was saying to myself, Should I get something like this? It might be a bit too kiddie. I mean, when will I be able to wear this? Because I'm going to be joining like the whole adult world, whatever. I don't know when I'm going to wear this. But then I said to myself, Screw it. I used to look like a child anyway, so I'll be able to pull this off. The person who pushed me to buy this was Moya. If you guys don't know Moya, follow her on YouTube. She's like one of my freaking idols, style icon editing queen. She got this from, I think, Depop, but then hers, of course, more expensive because I think it was from American Apparel. But then I got this on Shopee, guys. I got this on freaking Shopee for 261 pesos. 261 pesos. There are some stores in like the States or those online stores that are selling this for like $30. And I got this for... I got this for $5. That was like some quick math. Actually, not quick, slow. I'm very slow in math. So all y'all Filipinos out there or Asians who can buy from Shopee, I suggest you buy this. Oh, it's beautiful and I love it so much. The one problem with this though, well, not for me, but for my mother, is that it's a bit too short, especially when you just wear a crop top. But then I would normally wear this with a sweater. I like how it has built-in shorts already. So you don't have to worry about your underwear being seen because they got these babies over here to make sure that you don't flash anybody while you're just frolicking around with this cute skirt like how I'll probably do when you know there's no more coronavirus and the lockdown is now lifted and I'll be able to see my friends. Aside from that, I'll be wearing this in my room, dancing around. That settles for the clothes. But then now I'm gonna be heading on to the bags. The past bags that I've bought from Shopee are just those regular sling bags that I kind of don't like anymore. But then now I have been influenced to hop on the whole shoulder bag train and honey, I am loving it. Let's head on to the first one that I got. It's this one over here you guys saw in my last video. Guys, this bag has now prepared me to be a young adult. This is my first shoulder bag that I ever owned and it's so cute because it's white. It's such a statement piece. This one costs 178 pesos. And you know, I see some IG stores selling this for 400 pesos. Girl. It may look small, but it can hold so many things. As in, I can fit my camera, a small notebook, my phone, my wallet, a pad, some socks if I want to carry some socks. I don't know. It can carry a lot, guys. I liked it so much in white. I got it in a lavender, guys. So this is, once again, where my lavender addiction just continues. It's such a statement piece already. If you wear this with a nice monochrome outfit, especially if it's black or white, this one will like pop out like a cute sore thumb. Not an ugly sore thumb. 178 pesos for this. Or can you go wrong? Why aren't you on Shopee right now buying this piece of beauty, okay? Do it. Add it to your cart. You have to buy this. I'm in love. I'm sorry to my boyfriend. I have a new lover. It's this bag right here. It's so beautiful. From the same store, I was thinking that I could try to find something with a different pattern. Maybe something a bit classy. Maybe something that's green and has an alligator pattern and it's really freaking cute. This one 
just makes me feel like I live in New York, Paris, some more of those like really fashion places that people would wear this and it would look normal. It does have this nice gold chain detailing for the strap. I'm not the biggest fan of it because I'm not the biggest fan of gold chains in general. Maybe for necklaces but then not for bags. It's kind of like those 2010 bags or tops that had like those random gold chains in the middle of it. It is smaller than the white and purple one but it can still fit a lot of things. Can I just say, look at this. Look at that. I know it's big but for some reason that looks real. Or maybe I'm just very gullible. I got this for 199 pesos. This is like how I wear my bags now for appreciation. I love this bag so much that I would gladly be buried with it. To my future children if you're watching this, please bury me with this bag. And also the white tennis skirt. That's all I have to say. Thank you. For the last bag that I got, I haven't seen this on Shopee a lot. I just stumbled upon it in the recommended bag pieces of Shopee and I am amazed. <laughs> Look at this. It looks so chic. I mean, come on girl. It's like a nice triangle, you know, that instrument. The color is like this brown with like a purple undertone type of vibe. There we go. Look at that pattern style goodness. I'm so happy I got it. It is on the more expensive side because it costs 395 pesos. Can I just say it? The bag portion is three. As in, you can hit it and you know it's gonna be durable. But then the strap is kind of thin. I feel like they just laxed on this area. Like they worked so hard here and they were like, let's just make a strap. And it just went shoom. So I support this, this bag for president. It will carry all of our emotional baggage. I think that's enough bag talking for the day. Okay, for the last thing that I got from Shopee for this haul are sunglasses. I never owned my own pair of sunglasses ever before. I said the only pair of sunglasses I've ever had, like my whole 21 years of living, are my dad's Ray-Ban. That's it. So I said to myself, might as well just try to get some. I don't know, maybe if I go to the beach again one day after this whole thing just settles down, probably in one to two years. But anyways, I got these three sunglasses. Oh, sunglasses. I tried to get one of each style to like test out the waters on what on what <laughs> on what frame can look good on like my face shape so the first thing that I got it looks like neo shades from the the matrix maybe it looks good on me maybe it doesn't okay so for this one it costs 75 pesos it doesn't feel that strong so that's where the whole price and quality comes into play but then I know it will be durable enough to just wear but it does its job of you know blocking sun and staying on my face so I like it Oh my god, put that before I actually break it. Next one that I got, I kind of tried to go out of the box for this one. It's this kind of funky cat eye shade. The color is tea and it has gold lining around it. I don't know if I look cool or if I look stupid. But then I think if I pose well with this, I may. I may look cool with it. But anyways, this one costs 79 pesos. I may not be for the cat eye trend, but it may look good on you. And if you want to try out that type of style, I suggest this glasses from this store. Okay, the last thing that I got for sunglasses and for this haul is this one over here. It's kind of the same as the first sunglasses that I got, but it's a more thicker lining. I think it's maybe my favorite one out of the three. It looks cool. It makes me feel like Y2K fashion meets street style. And for me, it's really, really nice, especially for the price, because this one only costs 59 pesos. 59 pesos for this cool ass shade that make you look like you're a thousand pesos richer. I'm here for it. I gotta stop doing that. If you want to buy cool shades like this one, I suggest buying this one from this store. This is not sponsored. I just really like Shopee. But anyways, that is the end of my Shopee haul. I don't know how much I spent, but I know in total, my whole Shopee history, like from the day I started until now, I've spent over 9,000 pesos. I've had over 80 items. 80 items. Pat on the back, guys. This is what happens when you try your best to get good, affordable pieces of clothing that are good quality also. Do your research, guys, on Shopee because you never know what you may find and it could last you for so, so long. Like that white tennis skirt. I'm so happy I found that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys guys found clothes you want to buy for that 8-8 eight, eight sale or maybe for that 9-9 sale or the 10-10 sale or basically whenever you just want to go on Shopee at midnight and buy something. So I hope this helps you guys. I don't know, maybe find your style, find some cool pieces on Shopee you never thought existed before. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. I liked it because it has clothes that I bought, especially that white tennis skirt. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. Bye.